Well, guys, another day, another influencer scam, this time from none other than Logan Paul. Yes, that's right, folks. I also thought he had enough money from boxing with Floyd Mayweather to where he wouldn't need to promote an outright scam, but he did anyways. Let's go to the board and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the $10 million studio. I'm your host, CoffeeZilla, the internet detective, and today we're talking about... The Low Gang, guys, you forget about this guy. Uh, he's been doing making big waves, making fights, making bank, but not enough bank because he's recently endorsed a crypto coin called Dink Doink. I'm doing the same thing as you, holding my doink. Now, Dink Doink is one of many tokens with zero actual usefulness. Instead, like every other Ponzi token, it's built off nothing but marketing hype, a few celebrity shoutouts, and the eventual sell-off that's gonna happen. And here's the honorable Logan Paul to promote his Ponzi scheme. What up, Dink Doink Telegram? It's me, Logan Paul. Now I know what you're thinking. Logan, what the f are you doing here? I'm doing the same thing as you. Holding my doink. That's what I'm doing. This is a coin I believe in. Y'all, actually, this is something, <laughs> dude. Okay, dude. This is something everyone's been doing lately. They think like to themselves, maybe if I, run a Ponzi scheme, ironically, it will be forgiven, right? Like maybe if we just lean into the fact that everyone knows it's a scam, I can then scam and it's okay. Cause hey guys, we're being ironic about the fact that it's a shit coin. No, self-awareness doesn't save you. Congratulations, you're a piece of trash. Who knows you're a piece of trash? Good, good job, buddy, good job. It's my favorite one to be honest. Think doing is so much more than a meme coin. It's a multimedia coin cartoon meets crypto it's the blockchain baby in 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 cartoon fun comedy format i'm gonna be doing an episode myself soon okay so he promotes it he says there's gonna be um that's a big thing there's gonna be cartoons involved but it looks like they're trying to rip off the the south park style and in general he presents himself as like an interested but unaffiliated investor in this coin saying this is the dumbest most ridiculous coin i've ever seen and that's why i'm all in but it turns out this is incredibly misleading because Logan Paul is far from just a guy who found out about this coin like anyone else. Because in a podcast with the Dink Doink CEO, he said that Logan Paul created the thing. We might as well, you know, be be honest about how this came about. I was chilling with Logan and, and we were like, what's the stupidest name we could think of for mm -hmm. like a coin, right? Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest name we could think of for like a little mascot that's like a dumb sprint? We were like, Dink Doink. Oh my God, his name's Dink Doink. <laughs> and it just came alive. Like Logan designed the character on his phone, on Snapchat. So you design it and then you go, wow, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's your thing. <laughs> like what? You don't think you should mention the fact that you designed the thing, that you're the guy who designed the whole like mascot idea. I mean, take credit for your idea. If you thought of it, take credit. But I think he doesn't want to because obviously it looks bad if you're pumping your own little Ponzi coin you created. And it's not just Logan Paul, the whole gang's here, the whole impulsive gang's here. Look at this, it's disgusting. Promoting this to your fans. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mike, here to send some love and camaraderie to the Dink Doink Telegram team. I know you guys have been busting your ass to make sure that the hottest, newest coin of- How is this not parody? How are you able to look at yourself in the mirror and not be embarrassed by this performance here? What, what, what am I watching? 2021 is Dink Doink with the hottest functionality and all of the most built-in techniques, tactics, and capabilities. It's funny because he's like saying it like he's being sarcastic, but there is no turn in this video where he's like, I'm just joking, guys. I wouldn't promote a Ponzi scheme. He's like trying to ironically do it, but also he's serious. Dink Doink is cleared to be the hottest <laughs> fucking coin ever. Here's their other buddy, okay? You've got a all-star cast of L Logan Paul universe. Hey, Dorf Mamba here to tell you each and every one of you is beautiful. You know why? You know why? Because y'all apart y'all are making me rich i got in early and you're pumping my bags that's how this works guys they get in early you pump up their bags they sell it off of one of the greatest if not the greatest coin of all time of all time i love how they all pretend like this isn't their little house's idea they were all sitting in the house they thought of this idea and they have some other guy launch it 
who's like an unknown, this guy, Jake, he's not very well known, but they actually are the ones who thought of it and they promote it like it's not their thing. Dink Doink is going to the fucking moon. You don't believe me? You don't have to. You can just be naive and dumb. It's all good. Uh, I don't think we're the naive, dumb ones here, guy. But y'all, the community, we're not naive. We're not dumb. We're fucking family. Oh. Hey, you're naive and dumb if you believe that, that you're a, a family, right? When they sell off, they're going to be your family. Try calling them and go, hey, I lost the house. I'm on Dink Doink. See what this guy, Mr. We're a family, says to you then. Oh, my God. This is such a disingenuous little scheme created by the low gang. Unbelievable. Even the founder was asked about, like, dude, why is this even a coin in the first place? And he could hardly answer it. You know, as you well know, there's... Over 10,000 uh, cryptos out there right now. Uh, what makes your project different from the um, countless amounts of BSCs that launch every day? Pay attention. Good question. What a great question. Um, thanks for that question specifically, because mm -hmm. it's like the most important question, right? I've never been asked that question. This is actually my first podcast. Okay. Um, as ding <laughs> Dude, what is this answer? The stalling. Hey, that's such a great question. Really great question. And I'm going to answer that question. This is my first podcast ever. Guy, you don't have it. Thanks for that question specifically, because mm -hmm. it's like the most important question, right? I've never been asked that question. This is actually my first podcast oh! um, okay. <laughs> as Dink Doink's CEO. So okay. I, I, I have a really good answer to it. Um, All right. It's been 30 seconds. Get to the answer. I'm... Logan Paul wanted more money. That's ding, ding, ding. Hey, you got yourself an answer, baby. That's your answer. Logan Paul wanted more money, but sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm doing this for, for a very specific purpose. And Dink Doink on its face is a funny cartoon and it's a meme and it's a community having fun on Twitter and it's social media stars tweeting about it every week and you know, that's what it is on its face. What happens when the social media stars stop tweeting about it, by the way? You ever ask yourself that? You got a few people to tweet while it makes the money. What happens when this thing inevitably loses steam? It went from going up to going down and what goes up must come down. So if you guys made a million dollars off this, you've taken a million dollars from your fans. Congratulations, you've reinvented a Ponzi scheme. Great job, guys. You know, you brought up Bitcoin earlier and, and what's going on with Elon and those two communities now in sort of a quarrel. And I, I find the crypto space in this moment to be at, at its most important moment it's ever had where community turns into need at some point to move forward. Mm -hmm. We have the technology, we have the attention, we have the passion, we have everything except a useful coin that people actually want to use. So you're going to solve that by creating Dink Doink. Except a unified community. The need of cryptocurrency is a unified community, you're saying, and your solution to a fractured community with too many coins is to create another coin. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And the only explanation is a blatant cash grab. This coin has no usefulness outside of a few celebrities talking about it. And it's supposed to be like about comedy and fun. But really, at the end of the day, this is just an investment. A very bad investment that is clearly going to enrich a few people at the cost of everyone else. And the last thing I want to show you to prove that is uh, the fact that 80% of the <laughs> these coins are currently owned by the top 100 wallets. Okay, guys, if you want to buy Dink Doink, you can go check out who owns all the coins. And right now, the top 100 holders, of whom you can be certain Logan Paul and the gang are some of them, own 80% of this thing. And you're telling me that this is going to revolutionize and change the world? No, I don't think so. It's just another scam from another celebrity influencer who's pretending to be ironically doing it. It's embarrassing. Logan Paul designed this whole thing. He needs to actually stand by this coin instead of pretending to be some outside sort of Oh, I think it's a fun coin. You designed it. Duh, you know, don't be like that. These influencers need to pay for this stuff. It's so disgusting. They use their fans like piggy banks. And I, for one, am tired of it. Anyways, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Dink Doink, the new scam coin Logan Paul's been promoting. Thanks for watching.
And I'll see you next time. I know what you mean. This ain't what it seems. Nothing but a trick. Trying to sell me on a dream. But that was where you lost me. Wake up and smell the coffee.